Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story on the Rusty Gear server. Alright, spawn. I'm gonna leave Francis over there and uh, move on to our east side so I'm not around spawn and if anyone's gonna build any goodies. So I have like this little thing st started and I'm like, okay, I wanna build something here. <laughs> Maybe then I can like, survive and stuff. So. What I'd like to do is start getting a floor put in and see how, get an idea of how big maybe I want to make it. So I want to just have like a nice safe spot so that we're not like, oh, hold on. That's interesting. I thought it would go down like the same direction. Um, apparently not. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this out. I've never really done this, but having crisscrossy, uh, I forgot the technical term for that, it's kind of fancy little flooring might look at, make it look pretty nice. Uh, maybe I just have to like change the angle that it's placed. Well, I can at least get one of the patterns done. Uh, can you do it on the side? Maybe it's not that side, maybe we have to do it on the other side? Oh, okay. Well, that one kind of worked. Um, we'll start putting in a floor here and see how much I can put in around here and... Nope, that one doesn't work. <laughs> I will get that figured out and we'll get a whole bunch of stuff put in here. Uh, just because it would look so much more interesting it's a little bit boring if it's all straight and stuff. No, don't go through the teleporter. Okay, figured it out. It's the, sometimes you gotta hit it on the side, sometimes you gotta hit it on the ground, depending on which direction you want it in. All right, so I've done a little bit of exploring around and I'd like to put some stone around the sides and we got a couple ruins so I think I'm gonna go and grab a few different kinds of stones because these better ruins is like awesome to get something that's not just granite and then we'll put it around the base here got some fi phyllite I always have a hard time finding this stuff like naturally occurring uh, it wasn't until late in the or a fairy server that I actually found some so it's got a neat little bit ooh seeds I usually don't find pumpkin seeds <laughs> so pretty happy about that we'll get the rest of this up all right got some wood I also got sandstone along with that stuff. So I was like, oh, which one do I want to do? And I kind of liked the sandstone better. Uh, and I had a good bit of the cobble. I liked the mixture of the dry stone with the cobble. The dry stone you need to pick for. So got an edge placed around that and some oak trees. I am, however, waiting on some more oak to grow. I had a bunch of seeds so that we can add more onto the eh, the ends of the house and stuff. So I think I will venture out somewhere over there and see if I can find a few more. I'm not sure if they are up here as well, but we'll do a little bit of looking around. And while looking around, I did find some oak trees and there's a big one right here but I just saw the little bit of gray in the walls I don't think this is a fantastic one but I do need some cobble at some point so getting this bit out and I know I don't have to use a pick but it would take a really long time so we'll just clear this out let the bunny kind of escape and go back into the wild hopefully oh we got a little bit of gears Good. It's not much for a first run. Alright, so I got some walls, got some fencing for like windows, got a little staircase going out. 
and then I decided that I'll over here have some storage and then start on a new one. Found a little acacia, so I've been working on that. So if you not not that one, <laughs> not that place. If you hit the ground, you're gonna get one pattern. If you hit the side, you're gonna rotate it the other way. So problem solved. Easy to do a pretty floor. Alright, so I'm gonna need a bunch more stuff. I'm thinking of maybe another way out. Uh, it's just gonna matter how much I can collect here. I am so happy I was able to get that bronze saw. It's very important. And we can get more of the oak planks going here. And so, hmm, do I want it vertical or horizontal? That can make it for a different spot over here. I think maybe the horizontal will work well, just so it's not completely all uniform on the outside, because I probably won't do chiseling on this. And just having different block types will help. Just get a wall in first and then later on decide where am I going to put uh, windows and, and whatnot. Yep, I think that's going the same way still. Alright, so we got some of this done. I figured this is going to be where we cut some smithing stuff. Got a little kitchen thing started. And I got the start of a cellar. I was like, well, I already had part of this land down here. So clear it out. Start getting in some wood. Got some temporary little bits of rock down there. So hopefully nothing spawns. I think it's okay in height. But in the meantime, I do need to gather a bunch of clay and of course, when you're gonna, might as well just cut the grass too while doing this, because we're gonna need to make a roof. And I thought maybe some colored shingles might work out the best. And also, we're gonna need. I want to do glass anyhow. So fire clay. It takes a while to make these bricks, but we'll make some bricks so we can get some bloomeries. And the next step, if you want to make colored clay, you gotta get some barrels going. And I got a batch kind of just sitting out here. I've been working on it and making some of my roof tiles. At first I was like pink, ugh. But it's like a maroonish kind of thing. I gotta fix the corner, but I got the start of it anyhow. It's not gonna be super fancy, but I really like these slanted ones can make a, a nice little overhang. And then I got the upstairs bit there. Again, take, take care of those corners on there. But that'll be a while to work on all of that to get the clay stuff going. And then we have a bit of garden out here. And everything seems to be going pretty good. Just gotta get a lot more clay tiles done. Alright, so we finally, <laughs> it took a while after much stuff gathering, uh, got this bit done over here. And the finished ends. Got the glass up there. Don't really need it because it's so warm here. But I thought just in case if you do want to enclose it, we got glass and we can have stuff grow during the winter. Although I think it's fine. Let's go inside and I did put a ceiling on. I, a little bit taller ceiling would be kind of nice, but I thought we'll close it up. More completed bit of blacksmithing stuff around here. I managed to get a little bit of ores from the area. Just enough for us to get some tin bronze and stuff going here. Expand the storage. Got barrels. Got our chests. 
and I had added in some stuff here. I added in a little bit of water, corners, and meanwhile get some flax growing. So the corners are hidden over there, but it works, so don't need to worry about that. And a good bit of glass, but not too much. Didn't have to worry about it. I think that lines up right. I wanted to keep it pretty airy, anyhow. And then the stairs upstairs. Got a little bit of remnants of my pillar from tiling. I'm uh, not sure what to put up here, but we could expand storage or whatever. I figured a little cubby hole there <laughs> for some extra things. But uh, this is taking a good bit of time that I got it, I think, in a working order. I need to replace a couple things, but there's been a lot of work done at Spawn, so I need to kind of get over there. I've been concentrating on getting this done, so at least I had a spot. So we'll get into spawn stuff and get into my little house next time. And we can go through and see all the nice little fun things people have built. Thanks for watching and see you later.